Good morning, folks. We can still see the large umbral fields incoming from the left on our star, and top right, the filament eruptions return too. We've got cosmology and climate on deck, but we're starting with our star, large southern coronal hole. Its magnetic fields likely to connect to Earth today with possible seismic uptake implications, and otherwise we are waiting for the sunspots to turn back around. Last little look at that filament release here. Solar wind is quiet, leaving geomagnetic conditions all calm and in the green, so let's go to the journals. In line with our video two nights ago on the lack of dark matter, at least twice a week I see scientists suggesting alternative explanations these days, most often in the realm of MOND and modified gravity like they do here, rather than the plasma electric paradigm I'd prefer, but the more who move from the lambda cold dark matter model, especially at the galactic rotation scale, the closer we come to the end of that paradigm. Excellent piece in nature about the astronomical forcing of the wet and dry alternating regimes in the Sahara. Hopefully we recall from our other recent examination of Heinrich events that these actually oscillate on millennial scales and can be closely tied to solar forcing. Here they go with solar insulation instead but can't escape the timing patterns. Last but not least, we're back to the auroral forcing ability to touch the entire globe. In order to eventually get this into the proper models, they need the threshold parameters, and here they indicate that it is indeed when the aurora reaches lower latitudes and higher geomagnetic activity. Is that sort of obvious? Yes, but obvious doesn't win in science without the data to back it up, and here we see how the higher geomagnetic activity, which does allow the auroral expansion, does indeed take the throne in terms of that aurora being able to affect the entire ionosphere, and where it does so allows the global electric circuit to reach to the ground to affect pressure, temperature, clouds, wind, and precipitation. This is well documented in the literature, in our playlists, and in our books. Another reminder that the ones that are sold out should be restocked this coming week. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.